Hello 87, um, this is Mrs Sheehan, welcome to your third lesson on Malala. Um, you should have a tended, attended the uh, virtual lesson scheduled for 8.55 with myself and I will have directed you to this YouTube video to begin the tasks. So if you could put the date today is Thursday the 14th of January, make sure it's underlined in your book. Um, you don't need to rule off the work from last lesson because we are kind of continuing that to begin with. Um, the title though for today is Malala Lesson 3, so if you can just put a new title but don't rule off. And then in the corner uh, on the left hand page, um, in the margin on the left, if you could just put Mrs Sheehan so you know you're continuing with my work. When you have done that I would like you to answer these do now questions. Um, four questions, they should take you around five minutes to answer. If that, just answer them in full sentences. Your first question is, why do you think Malala named chapter one as free as a bird? Why was it important that Malala's name was included in her family tree? Is a girl or a boy more valuable in Pakistani traditions? And who owns the school that Malala attended? So if you pause the video, answer those questions and then begin the video again. These are the answers to your do now. So the answer to question one, uh, Malala's father allowed her many freedoms and not normally available to girls. So the title for the chapter one of Free as a Bird is very apt and fitting. Um, why was it important that Malala's name was included in the family tree? Um, a woman's name had not been included in their family tree for 300 years. So um, to her father and her, her mother, including her name was a real um, honour and showed the significance that they held over their, their daughter's birth. Um, in, for question three, it's actually boys are more valuable in Pakistani traditions. Um, she talks about how when a boy is born, there's a huge celebration, but when a girl is born, usually um, they don't celebrate it at all. It's a, a much more sombre affair. And question four, who owns the school that Malala attended? And it was her father. Hopefully you'll remember she was very pro, um, sorry, her father was also very pro-education for women and girls in Pakistan. Um, and he was an advocate for that. Therefore, he ran a school that educated uh, young women. So well done if you got those questions right. If you didn't, um, if you could just pause the video and um, amend the ones that you got incorrect. So now if we just have a look at this extract, we started doing some work on this um, last lesson. Most of you, it seems, got to question three, if not completed question four. So your first task today is a continuation with the task three from last lesson. So I've left question four on there. So if you finish question four, great. If you didn't, um, please answer question four now and don't worry about the questions that you haven't finished from last lesson. So I want you to reread that extract as displayed here and decide what you can infer from it. Um, so what makes this extract interesting? How can Malala, how has Malala structured the text to interest you as a reader? So what techniques has she used? Think about how she structured the beginning of the extract and the end, any choices of words she's made, where those important words are found within the sentences and the sentence type. So anything that stands out at you. Um, you need to provide evidence or quotes from the extract which then support your answers. Um, I would expect your answer for this question would be at least two paragraphs. So if you finished it, reread it, make sure it's as good as it can be. I am going to ask you to send today's work over to me at the end of the lesson. Um, if not, you can begin now. So I expect this to probably take between 15 and 20 minutes. And um, so I pause the video and get started. <clears throat> Okay, so if you finish that question, I'd quite like us to do a little bit of feedback. So if you can come back to the virtual classroom, let me know that you finished um, and we will just feed back some of the ideas that you had for that question for. So we should now have um, completed some feedback for question four um, within the virtual classroom. What I'd like you to do now is to um, listen to chapter two and use the PDF that's linked on Gopher Schools and has been emailed to you. Um, and I will put it on the Teams chat. 
to read along at the same time. So the YouTube link is displayed here, but I will make sure that that's actually attached to the um, work that you would have got on Gopher Schools and the email that contained um, the link to the, the lesson today. So we should now have listened to the chapter two Malala using the YouTube link and following along with the PDF that's um, also linked. Um, I would like you to now have a bit of freedom with what you're going to do. So there's the option of four tasks here, but I would like everyone to complete two of them. So you can choose to do option one, two, three or four. So either of those two. Um, so you might choose to do option one, which is to draw a front and back cover for chapter two only. You must include a blurb and tag and a tagline. So definitely would expect that there'd be some image that would have been inspired by the events in chapter one. That's chapter two, sorry. Uh, option two is to write five questions and their answers that Malala would give. Uh, use the events from chapter two to help you. Your option three is to identify two similarities and two differences between yourself and Malala. And option four, write a speech about what you've learned about Malala. You can include the, pi the pictures that you would show to help you. Um, remember, use the events that have happened from chapter two only and think about the audience that you're writing to and use appropriate language. So I'd like you to now complete two of the tasks um, from task two. So two of the options from task two. If you have finished your two options and you feel confident that you have done, this is a challenge task. So an extra task, a bonus challenge really, um, 20 minutes creative writing. So I'd like you to write between half a page and a whole page for this task, addressing these six bullet points. Okay, and finally, you have some homework this week, which will be due on Monday, but it's not a particularly taxing homework. So the idea is that by Monday, you will have read and listened, read along and listened to the end of chapter three using the PDF and the YouTube links. Um, they are emailed to you um, tonight, so I'll put them on um, the go and send them through by email um, for you to complete that tonight. Um, the title will be Homework due Monday the 18th of January. And then also finish your two chosen options from today's task two. So where there were these options here, I would like you to finish whichever two of those you started. Now, at the end of today's lesson, I would like you to send all of your work across to me using the assignments function um, on Teams. The title for today's work will be Malala Lesson 3 um, Work, basically. Uh, clear photographs of what you've done and then upload it to Teams there. If you're not able to upload it on that function, please um, just send it through to me via email. But as I've said before, if you can do it on Teams, uh, it makes feedback and um, my marking of that work much simpler and time efficient. Um, so as always, any questions, just uh, shout out in the virtual classroom, or type me a message and I am there to help. Thank you.